China Petroleum and Chemical Corporation Jungguo Xiyu Hua Gonggu Fenyu Xian Gongsi or Sinopec Simplified Chinese Jungguo Xihua Traditional Chinese Jungguo Xihua Pinyin Jungguo Xihua is a Chinese oil and gas enterprise based in Beijing, China. It is listed in Hong Kong and also trades in Shanghai and New York. Sinopec Limited's parent, Sinopec Group, is the world's largest oil refining, gas and petrochemical conglomerate, headquartered in Chaoyang District, Beijing. Sinopec's business includes oil and gas exploration, refining, and marketing, production and sales of petrochemicals, chemical fibers, chemical fertilizers, and other chemical products, storage and pipeline transportation of crude oil and natural gas, import, export and import, export, agency business of crude oil, natural gas, refined oil products, petrochemicals, and other chemicals. Topic Corporate history Sinopec Limited was established as a joint stock entity under the China Petrochemical Corporation Group Sinopec Group in February 2000. The company was simultaneously listed in Hong Kong, New York, and London in October 2000. A Shanghai listing was completed in June 2001. Given its legacy asset base from Sinopec Group, analysts have categorized it as a more downstream oil player than Petrokina. Sinopec is the largest oil refiner in Asia by annual volume processed. Sinopec produces around one quarter as much raw crude oil as Petrokina, but produces 60% more refined products per annum. In December 2006, Sinopec acquired the assets of Shengli Petroleum, whose main asset was a maturing domestic oil field, in order to stabilize its crude inputs and raise the utilization rate of its existing refineries. In March 2013, China Petroleum and Chemical Corp. agreed to pay $1.5 billion for Sinopec Group's overseas oil and gas producing assets. In August 2013, Sinopec acquired a 33% stake in Apache Corporation's oil and gas business in Egypt for $3.1 billion. In December 2013, MCC Holding Hong Kong Corp. Ltd. and MCC Oil and Gas Hong Kong Corp. Ltd. acquired an 18% stake of Sinopec. OPEC in oil and gas business for $9.3 billion. Africa Sinopec signed an evaluation deal with Gabon in 2004. During his African visit that year Chinese President Hu Jintao signed a series of bilateral trade accords with his Gabonese counterpart Omar Bongo, including a Memorandum of Agreement aimed at showing the party's desire to develop exploration, exploitation, refining and export activities of oil products." Three onshore fields were to be explored. One of the three blocks, LT2000, is some 200 km southeast of Gabon's economic hub, Port Gentle, which lies south of the capital, Libreville, on the Atlantic coast. The other two, DR200 and GT2000 are around 100 kilometers 62 miles northeast of Port Gentle according to the Gabonese Oil Ministry in November 2005 Sinopec Group announced plans to partner with CNPC to purchase an oil field in Sudan and has reportedly indicated an interest in expanding its business in Sudan Sinopec Corporation is a partner in Petrodar Operating Company Limited, a consortium whose partners also include China National Petroleum Corporation (CNPC), the 90% owner of Petrokina, and Sudapet, the Sudanese state-owned oil company, among others. In August 2005, Petrodar commenced production of oil in blocks 3 and 7 in southeast Sudan. In December 2005, Petrodar announced that its first shipment of crude oil would be shipped from Sudan in January 2006. Petrodar's operations represent a major increase in overall Sudanese oil production. 
Sinopec is also looking into other companies such as ERHC Energy, which has multiple oil block assets in the joint development zone. In 2007, in eastern Ethiopia's Agaden Desert, a raid by an ethnic Somali rebel group on a Sinopec drilling site left 74 dead, including nine Chinese oil workers, and seven kidnapped on 24 April 2007. The rebels, the Agaden National Liberation Front ONLF, later released the seven abductees and warned foreign companies against working in the area. Sinopec said it had no plans to pull out of the resource-rich region despite the attack. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Liu Jianchao says that China strongly condemns the violent attack carried out by Somalian insurgents on the premises of the oil company Sinopec in Ethiopia. In August 2009, Sinopec completed a takeover of Geneva based Adax Petroleum for $7.5 billion, marking China's biggest foreign takeover. On 31 October 2011 ADAX acquired Shell's 80% share of an exploration firm called Pecton that explores and drills in various offshore locations including the oil basin near Douala, Cameroon in cooperation with Total. In June 2013, Sinopec agreed to acquire Marathon Oil Corp's Angolan offshore oil and gas field for $1.52 billion. Topic rest of the world In February 2007, Saudi Aramco and Exxon signed a deal with Sinopec to revamp the Fukien oil refinery and triple its capacity to 240,000 barrels per day cubic meters d by 2009. Aramco, Exxon and Sinopec also signed contracts for a fuel marketing venture that will manage 750 service stations and a network of terminals in Fukien province. Unipec, a subsidiary of Sinopec, signed a contract with French oil company Total Gabon in February 2002. Under the contract China, for the first time, bought Gabonese crude oil. In the African nation of Gabon, Sinopec's joint ventures in oil exploration have been accused of violating environmental conventions by the government of Gabon. Its activities in Gabon's national parks were suspended in September 2006 by the Gabonese National Parks Council. On the 13th of April 2010, the company announced acquisition of ConocoPhillips's 9% stake in the Canadian oil sand firms Syncrude for $4.65 billion. The deal was granted regulatory approval from the Canadian government on the 25th of June 2010. While largely welcomed by industry, Sinopec's Syncrude stake has raised concerns about the influence the Chinese government may try to exert on Canadian policymakers. In October 2011, the company offered C$2.2 billion, $2.1 billion to acquire Canadian oil and gas firm Daylight Energy. Daylight was renamed Sinopec Daylight Energy Limited. After it was taken over in December 2011, on the 11th of November 2011, Sinopec announced that the company will invest $5.2 billion in buying a 30% stake in the Brazilian unit of Galp Energia SGPSSA, which discovered biggest reserved in the Western Hemisphere since 1976. On the 15th of October 2012, Sinopec completed the purchase of 20 oil wells belonging to Total E&P in southern Nigeria in a deal worth around 2. $4.5 billion. This was a remarkable achievement in the company's aim at fully exploring the oil-rich African country. Also they are presently executing an oil-gas project in Stub Creek region in Aqua Ibom southern Nigeria that is capable of producing about 10,000 barrels of oil per day. This is in addition to other exploration projects currently being embarked upon both in rivers and Aqua Ibom states. Sinopec indeed had previously taken over Adax Petroleum with numerous assets in Nigeria and Cameroon. On 17 December 2012 Talisman Energy UK announced Sinopec has invested $1.5 billion in a 49% stake of Talisman's North Sea properties. In April 2013, Sinopec agreed to sell a stake of 30% in an oil and gas block in Myanmar to Taiwan's CPC Corp. Topic: Environmental and safety record. 
In 2004, Sinopec prospected for oil in the 1,550 square kilometers of Loango National Park in southern Gabon and encountered criticism for what domestic and foreign environmental critics said were poor and damaging methods. Primatology professor Christoph Bursch of the U.S.-based environmental organization, the Wildlife Conservation Society WCS, criticized the use of dynamite and heavy machinery in exploration and road construction by Sinopec through park, noting that it might drive native gorillas deeper into the jungle, where they would be outside legal restrictions on hunting. Gabonese law states that industries can extract oil from national parks, but must rehabilitate them to the prior condition. Birch, and other international experts, have suggested that Sinopec use other methods such as horizontal drilling to minimize its environmental footprint. Sinopec's activities in Gabon's national parks were suspended in September 2006, by the Gabonese National Parks Council. In 2007, Sinopec redid its earlier environmental study, this time in conjunction with the Gabonese environmentalist group Enviropass and the World Wildlife Foundation, winning high marks from Gabonese, Western, and Chinese conservation experts. Shortly thereafter, Sinopec resumed production with more environmentally friendly methods. On the 21st of December 2006, gas started leaking during the drilling of a test well by the Sinopec Southern Prospecting and Development Branch in Quingshi. 12,380 people were evacuated after the leakage occurred. It took at least three attempts and two weeks for the company to seal the leak. China's top environmental watchdog warned Sinopec in 2007 to stop operations at one of its oil fields due to chronic river pollution. Jungyuan Oilfields Petrochemical Company, a unit of Sinopec, had failed to meet wastewater treatment requirements and had been ordered to pay a pollution fine and operations had to be halted. According to the State Environmental Protection Administration, SAPA, Guangdong Provincial Environment Bureau GPEB, had also issued a red sign warning to 19 companies, including Sinopec Guangzhou, in February 2008. By GPEB's standard, the companies that have involved in excessive emissions or caused serious environmental pollution accidents will be given the red sign warning and will be placed under strict supervision. On Wednesday, the 28th of July 2010, an explosion at an abandoned Sinopec Plastics and Chemicals factory in the Kixia district of Nanjing, China, killed at least 12 people and seriously injured 15 more. An oil pipeline explosion on Friday, the 22nd of November 2013, in Qingdao, Shandong Province, killed at least 62 people, injuring 136, and displacing hundreds more after oil previously leaking onto a street during the day ignited. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards. 25th Forbes Global 2000 2017